morning. I am just starting my day, just starting to get ready for my day. Um, sorry, I'm putting on my lotion. I am planning on going into the hangar to get the airplane ready for a flight attendant who is working my trip on Monday. And I don't wanna to do too much bathroom chatting with you guys because the lighting is really bad in here, but I figured I would just chat with you really quick while I start getting ready. Earlier this week, I recorded my vlog and it's called Big News Will I Ever Fly Again? Um, and I announced to you guys that I am expecting a baby. Me and my husband have a little baby coming next year. And as I'm recording this right now, I haven't published that. So even saying it out loud sounds weird to me because I'm talking to you guys, even though you don't technically know this yet. Um, but I'm gonna say in advance, I'm sure you guys are really supportive of this. And I can already imagine nice comments coming in I have the best interactions with you guys. You were always so kind and all of your sweet words and compliments mean the world to me. So this is just a little early. Thank you for watching that vlog and thank you for being supportive of the future baby coming. So since I am like halfway through my pregnancy, uh, the flight department has decided to take me off of some international trips just in case I experience any sickness or a complication or something goes wrong, my pilots and our chief flight attendant and the director of aviation just thinks it's better for me to stay domestic. So on Monday, our plane is getting ready to go on a flight. I really wish I was working it because our hotel is right on the beach and it's cold here now and I would love to just wake up and open the curtains and look at a beach on my flight attendant layover but I respect them for looking out for me and looking out for the babe, and I appreciate their concern. So I flew last week and I wanna get the plane in tip top shape for the flight attendant covering my trip on Monday. And I just wanna point out, if you watch my vlogs um, strictly for flight attendant life and flight attendant layovers, I will still be flying. Uh, I have clearance from my doctor. Everything is smooth sailing so far, so I am still allowed to fly. And I'll actually be working on our other jet and covering their domestic trips since those flight attendants are covering my international trips. So there's still plenty of flight attendant videos in the future for you guys. I am not gonna lie, it's been hard for me to get motivated today, but I'm finally heading downstairs and headed to the hangar. The last trip that I worked, I left a note of what I need. So this is what I am here to replenish on the airplane for the flight attendant who's working for me on Monday. So I grabbed and loaded everything that we have available to us here. And uh, I've been in contact with the flight attendant who is working on Monday. So now I'm just gonna send her the shopping list of other supplies that we need, but we didn't have available to us here at the hangar. Hey, explanation point. The only grocery items that we need are double A batteries, comma, and paper towels. Thank you. All done. So now I'm just gonna fold these linens that I brought onto the plane just so she's fully stocked for her passengers on Monday. It got pretty loud, I hope you guys can hear me. It sounds like a plane just landed and they are opening the garage door of the hangar so they're probably getting ready to park the plane back into the hangar. So excuse me for yelling at you or all the background noise. Um, I just wanted to show you how we fold the linens though. So I've got my little pile going. And there are tons of ways that you can fold them. This is the standard way that the flight attendants at my company decided. Um, it's just a pocket fold and you can stick a fork and knife and a spoon in there and just hand them to the passengers. It's quick and it's easy and it's convenient and everything that your passenger needs is just handed to them at one time. All right, now I have the plane completely restocked. Everything that is needed to work a flight is currently on the private jet. And it's very important as a flight attendant, especially if you are a corporate contracting flight attendant, to leave the plane exactly how you found it. I actually say you should leave it in better condition than you found it. In my vlogs, I often mention that we don't have a ton of time as corporate flight attendants, uh, a ton of downtime, I should say, during the flight, even after our passengers are fed 
and maybe they're just watching a movie and don't want to be bothered, there is always something for us to be doing. The galley behind me has a ton of cabinets. I would say not a ton because I feel like when I have a lot of passengers, I always need more cabinet space, but there are cabinets, there are drawers, there are food storage areas, there are plates, there are just a lot of components and something always needs to be cleaned or organized or you have to take inventory. So come next week, the flight attendant can get on this plane without me having to tell her where anything is and and she'll know everything is fully stocked. The plane is 100% ready to fly. All she needs to bring on board are her catering items. And one of these days I'll do an entire galley tour for you guys. Uh, you have requested it pretty often. Today is not that day. As I mentioned, I got a slow start. It was hard for me to get my butt out of the house and I live kind of far from the airport and it's later in the day and I wanna get home before traffic starts getting really bad. So I'm actually about to head out. back home I'm out of breath just from walking from my front door to my kitchen uh, which brings me to the point I was gonna come home and get on the bike and exercise but I'm gonna consider my exercise for today going up and down the private jet stairs hey Logan hold on Logan wants to say hi to you guys hi this is my cat, Logan, my firstborn. This guy has definitely taught me what it's like to have a needy child who won't let you place it anywhere except for in your arms. He always wants cuddles. It's like the happiest he is, is when he's getting attention and affection and he's not like any other cat. He's not a cat cat, he's like a dog cat. I made it home in pretty good time. Uh, there was what I think is a junior pilot or maybe a flight instructor in a pilot in training doing touch and goes at the airport. And what that is, is you land the plane and keep rolling and take off again. And I don't often see that. And obviously that's not something that we do in the private jet. Uh, when we land, we land. So I did stop and watch that for a minute. That was the plane that I filmed um, flying off into the sunset. But luckily I still left at a decent time and I didn't hit too much traffic. So I am gonna place Logan on the ground and I guess I'll just show you guys what I'm making for dinner. It's something that I make myself for lunch almost every day because as a pregnant lady, I'm trying to eat more vegetables and my everyday diet is relatively good. I feel like I always show you guys what I'm eating. Uh, it's just, I eat a lot of food because I'm a hungry Italian girl, but I'm incorporating more vegetables and I've been really into zucchini. I'm gonna make a zucchini pasta dish. It's not Italian. It's not like a recipe I found. I was just starving one day and I had pasta already made and I just wanted to add a vegetable to it. And then I added like a bunch of spicy chili paste. Hi, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I added a bunch of spicy chili paste because my only craving is the hottest food on earth. I wanna add hot sauce or habanero peppers to every single thing that I eat. So let me, uh, let me place them down and I will start prepping dinner and I'll show you guys what we're having tonight. Okay, quick little dinner detour because shoes are just as important as food. Uh, I ordered these shoes, they're Treasure and Bond. I got them from Nordstrom and I don't know if I love them. So I want to get your opinion. Um, obviously I have them like all protected still. So the studs on the bottom, I thought were very cute. It's a great detail. And that's really the only thing that separates it from every other pair of black booties that I have. There's the zipper on the back and I didn't know if I loved them when I purchased them. And I don't really know if I love them now. Are these the new boot of winter? What do you guys think? Do you like them? Should I keep them? Are they not really overpriced, but not the least expensive shoes that I've ever purchased? Um, are they necessary? I don't know. I feel like since I don't love them, I should just bring them back. But let me know what your thoughts are. I obviously ordered them for a reason. So in some sense, I do like them. But like I said, I kind of had buyer's remorse instantly. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is prepare your pasta of choice. And then you're gonna slice and saute zucchini in sesame oil. I just used the Dynasty brand. And spicy chili paste. 
Use as much or as little of this as you want. Uh, like I said, I'm craving spice all the time, so I have a pretty heavy hand when I put this into my frying pan, but just go with what you like. And I also add sesame seeds to this when I'm frying it. This is the easiest recipe. I don't know if I like it because it's easy. I don't know if I like it because I make it insanely spicy and my taste buds just can't tell what's going on in my mouth. But this is what I've been craving. I'm a huge carb person. Like I said, I need to incorporate vegetables because I'm pregnant and I just love spice. So I eat this for lunch probably two times a week. And this is the first time I'm making it for dinner. I'm assuming my husband will like it. He likes spicy food, he's Latin. We bond over our favorite hot sauces and spicy foods. So I think he's gonna like it. He'll be home from work in a little bit, so I'll definitely keep you guys posted. If it doesn't look like there's gonna be enough juices at the bottom to cover your pasta, or you can even put this over rice, uh, I would just add more sesame oil and more chili paste. And you could even cook your starch in chicken broth or vegetable broth if you want it to have more flavor. Uh, again, the flavor that I taste and that I want to taste is the heat from the chili oil. So that's what I do, but just do whatever works for you. Once your zucchini is done, you just pour it over your starch of choice and dinner is ready. It's so easy and it's so delicious. All right, I'm gonna finish eating my dinner. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you're looking for me on social media, at Jack Travels, that's J-A-C Travels, that's my Twitter handle, and my Instagram is Jacqueline Travels, just like it is here on YouTube. Johnny's in the background waving goodbye to you guys and dancing. He's glad we can finally have a quiet dinner without me chatting. Um, last thing, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future flight attendant videos. Talk to you next week.